Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to go over a strategy that has helped me every single day or pretty much every single week to make profit. It's an easy strategy, beginner friendly, and even when you become advanced, it's still a strategy that you want to use. It's still a strategy that I use till this day using SMC or what other people call smart money concepts, supply and demand. It's all the exact same thing. So I want to go through in today's video exactly how easy it is. It works perfect for people who are in the UK or Europe. Um, if you're in America, it's a bit more different to catch the first trade because, you know, you have to be awake for London session. So that time difference is a is a bit iffy. You might be sleeping at that time. But, you know, if you make it work, you make it work. And this strategy can also be used at New York. Um, so I just want to explain a bit about it. So first, I'm just going to give like a little drawing example, and then we'll go on to live charts to show an example from today. So today is uh, today is Tuesday, 29th of October, and there was a trade on the Tuesday, 29th of October, which is today. Now I don't use this strategy on Monday. I don't usually trade on Mondays. I don't trade on Monday and Fridays um, because just data wise, it's never worked for me. And Fridays is my day off. So. Uh, what you're looking for is you want to see what happens in Asia. And now usually during Asia, you'll see a consolidation period, right? So you'll see some sort of consolidation or a buildup of price where price is literally just moving sideways. And to some people, this is good, right? I don't personally manually trade in this Asia session in consolidation. Um, however, my EA does trade during Asia. And I'll show you guys that basically today. So a consolidation period of sideways um, momentum within the market. Some people love it, some people hate it. Some people trade throughout this sideways and they're very good in this sideways market. Others are not. Now, me personally, I don't trade during um, any sideways kind of trading. I, I, I just don't trade it uh, because it doesn't work for me. I'm not profitable with it uh, only if I'm doing it on the higher time frame. And it's not really sideways because there's a lot of pips you can catch. But stuff like this never works for me. Uh, it works with my EA. So if you guys know that I have an EA called the Zediment Elite EA. Uh, literally last night, uh, we made, uh, I think, a £100 on a £500 account. Uh, as you guys can see here, we deposited £500. Last night, we made £117 on it, just trading gold um, during a consolidation period. But, okay, let's say you don't want to use an, an EA to trade. Um, well, this is what happens. So you, you're looking for the London Open, right? And, and I'll give an example. So right from here, once you've had this consolidation, you want to wait for a take of the high or low. So you'll have this open which will be like the euro open. And you don't necessarily want to touch the euro open um, because, you know, you don't, you just don't want to trade the euro open. Um, it's, it's like a little trap, I call it. So from then, you either want to see if price takes out the high of Asia or the low of Asia, right? And depending on what, which high is taken, the high or low, then you want to go and look for a trade to target the inverse. So for example, if we've taken out the high, straight away usually it happened at the start age uh, the start of london once we've taken out the high what we're going to do is then go down to a lower time frame we're going to look for an entry and then we're going to target a one to three and then we're going to target the asia low and let's just say we are going on a different trade let's just say okay price has has come it's taken out the oh that's a terrible color to use uh, let's use purple let's just say price is taken at the low well it's the same thing we're going to look for the low to be swept once the low has been swept we're going to look for a change of character towards the upside we're then going to look for our entry and i'll go through our entry model and then we're going to target the high you want to first target a one to three and then you want to target the high so take that partial at this level here and then what happens is once we have let's just say let's just say you can't take that trade right you've missed the trade or you're in london you're in new york and you know it just doesn't work time wise well what you can do from there is you can see the london session right let's just say london sessions in in the box and you follow that same principle right so you want to follow that same principle in london and you want to, uh, in New York, sorry, and you want to see, okay, if the high has been taken, then you want to look for the same model to target the low or a one to three. And if the low has been taken at first, well, then you want to follow the same model. You want to target a one to three, and then you want to target the high of London. So let's go into a live example of this where you could have caught it today. As you guys can see, I've got the Asia range um, indicator on. You can see that we have um, Asia session on over here. And what we can see is that we had the sweep of the liquidity, which is the Asia low has been swept, right? A nice clean sweep 
with the wick. Now, then what I've done is I like to go on the one, uh, on the three minute time frame. I don't like to go on the one minute time frame. It's just a bit more messy. And I find the fair value gaps just to be a bit better uh, on the three minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a fair value gap, right? So what we can see here is actually if we go on the one minute for this trade and we find, right. So we've seen that, okay, price has swept this low now what you want to do is you want to look for a change of character towards the upside right so we can see that look we have a a low over here we've broken this previous low and then what we can see is we have this change of trend right here so you can count your change of character this i would call the secondary change of character and we have a primary change of character that's just a bit more within technical analysis um many people just won't know what a secondary and primary change of character is or break of structure and you have this one right here right so then from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for a entry now where i would have personally entered here is i would have just drawn this as my fair value gap it's not the greatest fair value gap to enter off but i would have set my limit there and I would have put my stop loss at either this low or the Asia low. It really depends on what kind of risk management you want to use. And then what I'm doing from here is remember, you're first targeting a one to three RR. So a one to three RR. And as you can see, the one to three RR actually takes out the Asia high, which is, is, is great. That's what you want to see. And you can see that it easily happens with a 4.6 pip stop loss. If you put your stop loss at the um, the more risky area with a 2.1 pip stop loss, you would have hit the one to three a lot quicker uh, and a lot easier. But that just depends on what kind of trader you are. Are you a trader that's willing to let price carry on and have a bigger stop loss so that your risk isn't too much and you aren't hitting your TP, your SL too quickly? Or are you someone that doesn't um, allow space when it comes to trading. I mean, this one literally tapped in, went down a bit in a bit of drawdown and then pushed straight up in price. So uh, amazing here. Now coming on to the New York side, as you can see, New York opened. Now when New York opened, it just swept London's low, came straight down, but you could have got a trade towards the upside. It wouldn't be a trade that went all the way up to take out London's high, but you would have easily got a one to three and you can you can very clearly i mean you can very very clearly see that so you can see london low has been swept and then we had a, just a big move towards the downside and then what we're looking for is a change of character which we we can see look we've had the change of character right here and then prices come down uh actually here i don't think i would have been able to catch the trade using my strategy per se because it's not really come near my order block uh Sorry, my fair value gap. But you would using this strategy be able to play about and see how to actually catch trades. I mean, on Friday last week, we had a beautiful, beautiful example of this. And you, you'll, you'll be able to see like how clean this was. Look, Asia low taken out. We had the change of character and the um, entry of the fair value gap on the lower time frame and just an easy big push towards the upside. So this strategy does work. You'll see that it works between two to four times per week on average and like i said i don't trade monday um because just generally i've been in the forex games for four years now and monday has never been like an amazing day for me so it's just not worth it um and then friday i don't trade just for personal reasons but like i said this strategy works you'll be able to definitely pass a funded account with it let me know what you guys think and make sure to follow the channel because right now I'm putting, pushing out some mad content on a daily basis, literally working my ass off so I can push all this content out for you guys. Very simple, very easy day trading strategy. Um, and yeah, if you want to know more about what I do, how I do it, look, I'm not here to sell you a course or nothing like that. Click the link in the bio. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the video.